This video will provide a walkthrough of the Study Hub app, as well as explain how you can use it to create and share a study guide with your students. Let's begin by moving over to the app dock and clicking on the Study Hub app. The Study Hub app icon looks like a blue sheet of paper with a highlighter above it. Study Hub is composed of three tabs, a Study Guides tab, a Notes and Highlights tab, and a Bookmarks tab. Let's take a look at each of them, working from the bottom up. The Bookmarks tab collates any bookmarks made in the MindTap Reader and organizes them by chapter and section headings. This makes it easy to quickly return to any page or video that needs to be reviewed. The Notes and Highlights tab aggregates any sticky notes or highlights that you and your students make in the MindTap Reader. Like bookmarks, the Notes and Highlights will be organized by chapter and section. Students can click on the blue arrow to return to the specific page, or these pages can be printed out and used to study for tests. This has become one of MindTap's favorite tools for students, so be sure to show it to them. They will thank you for it. The Study Guide tab allows students to create a study guide as well as offer you the ability to create a study guide for your students if you choose. Notice that there are no study guides in the Study Guide tab until you create them. A study guide can cover one or more units and can provide a great review for a unit or exam. Begin by clicking Create a Study Guide and the Create a Custom Study Guide window will open. Give your study guide a name and then select the unit from the drop-down menu. Under Synced Content, select the content you wish to include or select all. When finished, click the Add Unit to Guide button and then the Create a Study Guide button. Your new study guide will now appear and you can click on it to open. Your study guide will now include all the study aids that you selected. In our case, highlights, notes, and key terms. If you created any flashcards, they will automatically be shared with your students in their flashcards app and will always appear at the bottom of the study guide under Custom Flashcards. Study guides can be printed and there is a refresh icon on the top right so as you or your students add highlights or notes or flashcards, the study guide will update when refreshed. Note that students do not need you to create a study guide for them and any study guide that they create on their own will always include any of your shared notes and highlights. However, any study guide that you create will be automatically shared with your students unless you click on the hide icon on the top right. If you are unfamiliar with the process of sharing highlights and notes or creating flashcards, we have created a separate training video that covers those instructions. Thank you for completing this video training for MindTap. For additional help or resources, please visit our training and support sites or join the higher ed community to engage with your peers.